Okay, let's kind of summarize this lesson. This was all about combinations of functions. There's different ways we can combine functions. So this just kind of reviews. So arithmetic combinations, you can add functions together, multiply them, subtract them, divide them. The big thing here, and I highlighted yellow, when you divide, you can't divide by zero, and so if you've got some variable in your denominator, that might limit your domain. Let's go look at an example. So, we're given two functions, f of x, g of x. Let's find each of these. We'll state any domain restrictions. The only time that's going to pop up is when we divide in this case. So f plus g of x, well that just means f of x plus g of x. So you're basically just combining like terms, all right? So we've got x squared minus 4 plus 2x plus 1. Let's just see if we can simplify. So x squared plus 2x and negative 4 plus 1 would be minus 3. Hey, there you go. Basically just combining like terms. Not bad. How about f minus g of x? Well, that means f of x minus g of x. Same thing, except we're going to subtract, right? So x squared minus 4 minus, now I'm going to write it this way, 2x plus 1. Just to remind us, that negative is going to have to go all the way through. So we've got uh, x squared still. Now we'd have minus 2x and negative 4 minus 1. So that would be minus 5. Again, I just distributed that negative through and combined like terms. This means multiplication, okay? So f of x times g of x. So if I write these out, x squared minus 4 times 2x plus 1. Well, you're just going to distribute, right? x squared times 2x, x squared times 1, negative 4 times 2x, negative 4 times 1. Combine like terms. So x squared times 2x would be 2x cubed. x squared times 1 would be plus x squared. Negative 4 times 2x minus 8x. And negative 4 times 1 would be minus 4. Now in this case, there are no like terms. There's nothing to combine. Hey, we're done. We just multiplied through. Okay, now this is our division one. So f of x divided by g of x. So if I've got x squared minus 4 over 2x plus 1, the topple factor, but nothing's going to divide out. So this is our new function, but we need to look at the denominator. x cannot be negative 1 half because that would make the denominator 0. Where did I get that from? 2x plus 1 equals 0. I just solved that equation. And so this is our answer for that one. Okay, you got to focus on the denominator. Well, let's take it a step further. Let's talk compositions of functions. So compositions are plugging a function into a function. They look like this. So this open circle, now be careful, this is not multiplication, okay? This is f of g of x. I like to write it this way, it makes a little more sense. Or we could say f composed with g. Let's go look at an example of that. So I've got these same two functions we just worked with, but let's find f of g of 3. So this means f of g of 3. Well, let's focus on this, okay, inside out. g of 3. Well, g of 3 means you go plug 3 in to function g. So that would be 2 times 3 plus 1. Of course, 6 plus 1, that would be 7. So g of 3 is 7. So really, we're finding f of 7. And now I just go plug 7 in here. So 7 squared minus 4, 49 minus 4. Hey, I get 45. Okay, see how that works, I hope? What if I go the opposite direction? So g of f of 3, is it the same thing? Well, let's do f of 3 first. So now I come up here and I get 3 squared minus 4, 9 minus 4, so that's 5. So now I'm doing g of 5. And so 2 times 5 plus 1, well, 10 plus 1, I get 11. Notice I get different answers, okay? And that's to be expected. So you can't go the same or expect the same going both ways. But that's compositions, okay? I know that's kind of fast and furious there, but I hope that helps. You've already gone through the lesson. 
hopefully these examples help you be in good shape to go uh, knock out this quiz, this little practice assignment.